Well, hello, hello there, dear folks and fellow YouTubers. It's your best buddy here, Nuclear Scholarly 7, and in at least one of today's videos, I'll be doing part 11 of my walkthrough for Doom 2 Hell on Earth. And the name of the level we're on today is called simply Circle of Death. And I am playing Doom 2 Hell on Earth as a part of the Doom 3 BFG edition on Steam through the Hurt Me Plenty difficulty. Now, before I continue with the walkthrough here, as you could tell by the music here, this level shares the, th the same theme song as the second level in the game, Underhalls. Okay, I'm going to get started. And first, before I do anything else, I'm going to grab some ammunition here. But watch out. We're going to go ahead and <clears throat> take out some enemies. And I'm going to go around the circle of death just to do that. Ooh. Specifically, and I'm taking out the enemies right now so that they won't be a problem later on. Now, for too much further ado, I'm just going to kill that imp over there so he's not a problem. There we go, and I blasted him to Gibbs. Now, the reason I went ahead and grabbed the shotgun and the resultant ammunition is because so I won't have to cross this river of nukage just to be able to go and get it from a different place. And voila. Okay, now notice those health bonuses there. There actually is a safer way we can get those, as you'll find out later. It's kind of hard to explain from this angle here, but you will find out later, and that will explain everything. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and take out that caco demon with my chain gun. There we go. As well as that chain gun zombie. Ding, 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 ding. I'm just going to go ahead and take out that imp up there so he's not a problem later on. Ah! I'm going to go ahead and kill the Hell Knight. And there we go. Because we will explore that room with the flickering lights and the skull switch. So I decided to go ahead and take him out now so that he won't be a problem. Not that he'll be a big problem. Okay. Notice the Revenant hanging out over there. Let's just shoot a rocket at him just to grab his attention. Well, I already took him out with my rocket launcher. And, of course, I took out four different lost souls there at once. Okay. Now, before we do much of anything else, I'm gonna go here. And first, I'm gonna clear out this area of imps. Now, the reason I was focusing on that section of wall there is not only because an imp emerged there, and that's because it's a secret place with a supercharge health. Not a secret area, but just a place where you can get a supercharge health. And I went ahead and got it, just so I had plenty of health, but you can decide to get it at a later time. Ah, and I went ahead and took out that imp. Now, to our right, is going to be an arachnotron. As well as an imp there from that ledge, or elevators, it's really cool. And voila, I already took him on out. <laughs> now you notice there's not only shotgun shells, but a blue key there, but I'm not going to go there just yet, as you're going to find out why. Because we're going to ride this elevator. Not only is there some health and armor bonuses, apart from chain gun ammo, but this section of wall here is a door leading to a secret area, of which I'm going to go ahead and explore, as this is our first secret area in the map. Plus a partial invincibility. Now, what I like to do is I'm going to go over here, and yes, you might receive a little bit of damage from the nuclear waste slime, but hey, luckily only 3% of my health was taken. Okay. So now, I'm gonna ready my BFG 9000, and you're gonna find out why. Because, yes, an arch file comes out of it once it raises itself. And I like to use either the plasma gun or the BFG 9000 to take out that arch file. And now, before too much further ado, I'm going to grab the blue key. 
plus some more ammunition for the plasma gun and the BFG 9000. Okay. Now, down there in the middle of that section of the Nukage River is a, our second secret area, but I'm not going to go there just yet because I want to open up the blue key room door first. And of course, unless you're playing on a harder difficulty than I am, there's no more enemies to take out. And of course, I killed that shotgun zombie earlier. Because we can, as Big Mac Davis would say. Okay, now I'm going to hit this skull switch here. And I'm going to ready my double barrel. And this is the thing I was talking about, the health bonuses earlier in this video. Which is, we raise that platform so that way we can get the health bonuses without needing to step on the nuclear waste and as such take damage. And voila. I killed him. Not only is there a shotgun shells, but also a mega armor. Now that switch I hit with the demonic looking gargoyle face is something that activates an area in a very different part of the map. So... Now, we can access this area with the red key here, but I activated that bridge instead so I can get the red key without having to go into the nuclear waste pit. The river of nukage, I should say. Now, before I go down there and open up that red key door, I need to find the area with the secret area in the center here. And I'm going to go there, and this is our second secret area. I'm going to head through this teleporter because there's some important items to grab. Now, we're going to go back to that platform there with the red key. And should you happen to end have the misfortune of falling into the nukage, there's a skull switch over there you can activate to get back up to dry land and back to safety as such. Just gonna drink my water here quickly. Ah, man. Makes my brain operate more efficiently when you drink water. Ah. Ah. Okay, so now I'm going to go down there with the red key room door. Watch out there, gun-toting zombies marines awaiting your arrival. One a chain gunner, the other a shotgunner. Oh, and I almost forgot, plus a specter. And also, I'm going to take out this Hell Knight here because we're going to go in this room in a mysterious way that is not as hard to get to as it looks. But I took out that Hell Knight so that he wouldn't be a problem once I get in there. But this is the third and last secret area of the map. And he's dead as a rock, I'm afraid. And we're going to grab this hazmat suit. And I'm going to activate the skull switch. And grab that rocket launcher, which will provide ammo. And I'm going to use the radiation suit to go back through the red key door. And notice this cracked looking section of wall that is a door and watch not only do you explore the third and last secret area but you get an invulnerability sphere which we're gonna use to take out some enemies here and it's over here and <clears throat> of course they can't hurt me because i have the invulnerability sphere and okay i'm gonna use my BFG 9000 to take out the enemies down there because there's a lot of them, of course. Die, boy. Oh. Die, you retarded scumbags. And the double barrel shotgun or rockets should take care of the other enemies in this area. Now notice there was an imp or two in both of those rooms of which we will be exploring. But I took them out already with my BFG 9000. Now over here is another Kako demon. Of which I took him out with just two shots from my double barrel super shotgun. Not only that, there's a 
BFG 9000 should you need ammo for your already existing BFG 9000. Of course. Now there are caco demons in both of these sections of this room should you be playing on a much harder difficulty than the one I am playing on, which is the hurt me plenty difficulty. Okay. So now I'm going to have to go down there, but I'm going to have to be careful because there are imps awaiting me down there that want to, of course, slice my eyeballs out. Or eat me alive for supper. Now, because that's very thick, as you can tell by the arachnitron's <clears throat> energy plasma balls, I'm going to use my chain gun to shoot him here and watch. Because they will fit right through just fine. And that way take him out okay so I need to go to this elevator here because I'm gonna have to hit a switch of which we will need to activate which is this demonic lion switch there and I'm gonna head over here but get there quickly before it goes back up that's just no other way to lower it and of course as you can tell by the dead body of the imp there I don't have to worry about him so I'm gonna hit the switch here and as you can tell there, that's the end of the map. But first, before I get there, I'm going to go through this teleporter. For one thing, I want to grab that invulner... Not invulnerability, health supercharge. And I believe it's time to go ahead and exit this level. Now, this is the switch that holds Earth's human population hostage in the whole universe of the game. So I'm going to go ahead and press it. Circle of Death finished. Kills, 100%. Items, 100%. Secrets, 100%. Now, that was awesome. Now, unlike the last few vi videos I've done, this is not the end, because there's an end text screen that will tell the story of what's going on. So I want to read that to you guys before I end the video. Time, 11 minutes, 8 seconds. Entering the factory. You have won. Your victory has enabled humankind to evacuate Earth and escape the nightmare. Now you are the only human left on the face of the planet. Cannibal mutations, carnivorous aliens, and evil spirits are your only neighbors. You sit back and wait for death, content that you have saved your species. But then Earth control beams down a message from space. Sensors have located the source of the alien invasion. If you go there, you may be able to block their entry. The alien base is in the heart of your own home city, not far from the starport. Slowly and painfully, you get up and return to the fray. Awesome. Now, before I did recorded this video of myself playing this map I did <clears throat> practice a few times luckily not nearly as much as I did with the previous level before this one the refueling base but I did a few times before I recorded this and well I believe that will end the video here folks and remember if you like this video here please toss an imps fireball at that <clears throat> like button below and if you want to see more of my videos please throw a baron of hell's fireball the subscribes button below and i shall see you all when i see you all in the next video folks till then though my name is nuclear scality 7 goodbye for now and have a wonderful and happy and excellent rest of your day amen